Coach, how would you assess tonight's game overall? When obviously you guys were in it right down to the end, but uh, maybe at that last four or five minutes, what you feel like was the difference? Yeah, I, well, I mean, I want to start by saying congrats to the Timberwolves. Uh, Coach Finch did a great job in this series, and uh, their whole team uh, created a lot of problems for us. You know, the role players, their stars. Um, Anthony Edwards is, you know, just a special, special talent. And, uh, and their bigs played really well this series, you know, and the role players. You know, like I said, with uh, you know, McDaniels and Alexander Walker in particular, and Conley hurt us, um, you know, with the way those guys pressured. Um, it's a hell of a team they got. And, uh, you know, tip your cat to them, congrats to them. Uh, in terms of tonight's game, you know, we try to look at something different. You know, um, you know, there's a proven formula to try to get Rudy Gobert uh, either exposed or off the floor uh, in terms of playing small. It's something that I'm not really a big big fan of playing too many minutes small, but against this opponent, I felt like it was something that might open up the floor for us uh, offensively. And uh, and it did do that. We didn't, I wanted to generate more threes. It didn't generate more threes, but um, we were able to get to, uh, get to the paint a lot more than we have throughout this series because, you know, Rudy in front of the rim is a problem. You know, and uh, we, you know we created more more free throw attempts. You know, obviously, Book had a big night. You know, with the with the added space of of uh, of trying to trying to play smaller, but you know, ultimately it wasn't enough. And you know, they they just they made timely big shots and timely, I say, loose ball plays. You know, every time there's you know we're trying to uh, you know get some traction or or make a run, uh, it seemed like they hit a big three or they they'd get a loose ball that kept the possession alive for them. So. You know, like I said, credit them. They played a hell of a series. How do you uh, digest a season where you came in with championship expectations and then it ended in a sweep in the first round? Yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, there's no, no other way to put it. There's no, no worse professional feeling in the world than getting swept in the NBA playoffs. I've never been a part of it. Um, I feel pretty low right now. I want to speak to our fans directly and say, you know, I share your passion. Uh, I'm as disappointed as you all are. Okay, I'm gonna I'll share that with you all. Um, but you know, we got beat by a better team this year, and you know, we put this team together with the mindset that uh, we have a three to five year window. You know, that every year we're gonna have a chance to. We have a team that has the firepower to compete for it. But you know, this this league is loaded with with firepower. We we got a talented group. So do the Timberwolves. So do every every team in the top ten teams in the Western Conference. Okay, are loaded with talent as well. So. You know, we got to evaluate and figure out ways we can get better and, um, you know, just process this, uh, this tough series loss. In your mind, it was a roller coaster year with injuries and roster change ups and all of that. In your mind, what kind of prevented you guys from getting to your peak? Uh, you know, I mean, you, you spoke to a little bit of it. Um, you know, I think we I think we gelled and, and played some really good basketball down the stretch, you know, um, getting the playoff spot in this. You know, bloodbath of a Western Conference was a positive. Um, you know, in light of the injuries and you know uh, roster experimentation early in the season when we're looking at you know which min which minimum guys uh, fit for our group. But you know, ultimately, uh, you know, we played some really good basketball down the stretch. We just ran into a team that is playing better than us right now. When you look at Brad Beal, he had a rough night, foul trouble shooting wise. What went into that? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think anytime you get in foul trouble. It just disrupts your whole rhythm of your game. The guy was out there competing his tail off, playing super hard. Um, you know, missed some some looks he normally makes. Um, but you know, he's got a guard. He's we're asking him to guard Anthony Edwards. You know, and play the point guard against full court pressure. You know, which we we didn't do a good enough job alleviating that for him. You know, that's on me and, and our staff for uh, you know just making sure we handle their pressure better because their pressure disrupted us the whole, the whole series. And uh, probably took its toll on Brad, but um, you know he competed his tail off. Hey, Frank Book uh, gave a whole shopping list of details that he says need to be worked on and need to be a lot better for next year. But one of them was communications. He said that communications from the top down, and he cited himself, you, Bradley, and Durant has to be a lot better. What, what's he talking about and what needs to be done to make it a lot better? Yeah, I mean, I just think in game we got to talk to each other more and we could be willing to listen. I think on the floor our guys got to talk talk more. And, um, you know, I think we did a good job communicating what was happening with our team throughout the course of the year. But that's just one of those things that can always be better. 
Frank, sticking on Devin, um, I guess on, on a positive side, did you see any strides that he took this year individually that can kind of carry over to next year for you guys? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best players in the world. I mean, these guys got got that killer instinct uh, that I've, I've not really seen, you know, or been a part of. He, he's special, you know, and uh, I think he took some strides with, uh, you know, being aggressive, shooting the threes and shooting threes off the bounce. Uh, how he competed on the defensive side of the ball and took on a lot of a lot of challenges and tries to raise, raise his level uh, that way as well. Uh, Coach, a couple of things. One, one of the things this season it seemed like there was an, a lot of inconsistency when you guys played. Was that the case? And also, was that one of the main factors that you didn't go as far as you had liked? You know, or and what are some of the other ones that maybe, I know you touched on it briefly before, but... What, what was the last part of the question? What are the, some of the things that could have been better this season that would have helped you go further? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the list is long. When you lose, you know, you always, uh, you always want to evaluate everything. You know, I'd say, you know, personally, no one's harder on me than me. You know, so I mean, I always look inward for ways that you know I could have done done things differently or pulled different strings with our group. Um, you know, I'll, I'll make sure that I, you know, I evaluate myself that way. I always do. Um, you know, but yeah, you know, we turned the ball over too much. We didn't, we didn't uh, ultimately become good enough from a rebounding standpoint. And uh, you know, I mean, I think we didn't really, um, you know, find our rhythm in terms of being consistent. You know, with our offensive flow. You know, um, you know, so there's some things that we, you know, that I think that we can look at and and find ways to be better.